It's a f***ing bunch of horse shit. Do your job. It's uh, your second week, Friday. It's a, it's our first big night, really. It's our first, what I call the stress test on Statesville. This is gonna be the first real rush. This actor course is all you. Come on, fuck me up. Any uh, interesting stories over the last couple weeks? I found an ear in the maniac ward. I don't know where it came from. It's a, a fake ear you put on your ear. Or you can put it on your forehead. Lots of good crowds, people getting into it early on. Character, who's got a character? I always thought Pete was kind of soft-spoken, so the idea that we put him in a room where he's got to be the loud yelling guy, uh, that's been exciting and he's nailed it. One, two, three. Friends! Jordan, who's brand new, uh, he's turned into one of my favorite scarers. She's bouncing crazy sauce all night long. How many you got? On the other side of that is Chunks and Max, who are also killing it in the mine shaft in City of the Dead. Uh, they took the ramifications for their actions and they're owning it like men, and they're doing a hell of a job. I pick up trash, I uh, help out the actors. I'm on the cleanup crew and everything. I show up early, I leave late every single day. I'm loving it. It's a completely different change from what I'm used to. I thought you were supposed to tell me a joke. Just ruin it all. Tonight is going to be a big night. We're going to do more than twice what we've done on any other night. I feel great about tonight. I'm a little chilly. It feels like fall. I think people are gonna wanna go to a haunted house tonight. And I'm mad. You people seem to be ready to deliver your sick kind of acting on the citizens of Illinois. Oh. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready to carry on the reputation we have built for 15 years in this building? Yeah. I said, are you ready? What are we gonna do? Attack. I said, what are we gonna do? Attack. What are we gonna do? Ah! We go to haunted houses every year. It's the best one we've been to. Somebody that decided it would be funny to bite off a tactical smoke bomb inside our haunted house. I was over here scaring people and then I heard it go off and the people ran. So it's somebody's idea of a fucking joke or sabotage. Either way, it's dangerous. And if we catch the person, we're sending them to jail. We have a code for you. So I had this girl come in and I was going to scare her. And as soon as I did, I like ran up to her. All of a sudden, she started dry heaving like right towards me and then just start spewing chunks. Like I grabbed her, I was like, here, code blue, take her. Oh, they feel no. so scary, just be puking and shit. <laughs> we found out that Colin, our master of phobias, has a real, real phobia of little people. We uh, dressed up my little nephew, Tyler, because he wanted to be in the haunted house. I snuck him right behind Colin when Colin wasn't looking and told Tyler just to shake. And I bolted down as fast as I could down the mine shaft and knocked myself on the head. That was my favorite scare of the year, I gotta say. All through, all through. Back up, back up. We got you. Stay up, stay up. Load her in. Somehow I did a dive roll tumble and I said I fell into a line and I couldn't stop myself or anything. So that happened to me. <laughs> No security has headsets, no radios. I have a security problem, and there's six people around me, and I have the one girl, and I'm like, call somebody, call somebody now. I can't. This is lunacy. Why don't you have radios tonight? Your security. Why don't you have, why don't you have radios? They made up excuses, and that drives me out of my goddamn mind. I don't need one. Yes, you do. No, I don't. What the <laughs> 
I had to be hugged. It was everything I expected and more. This place was fantastic. <laughs> it's almost one in the morning on a Saturday, and these rooms are still running like a machine. The last group tonight is heading in. I can go start releasing the actors, and they are going to be very happy about this tonight. You just made it through one of the busiest nights we've ever had in a second week. Yeah. That was nothing. I that was nothing. nothing. You guys stuck it out tonight. You guys are incredible. Thank you for coming, Burning Hell. Days of the Living Dead is brought to you by Trans World Halloween and Attraction Show. Bringing you the most exhibitors and best industry-related products for the last two decades at HAAShow.com. Halloween Extreme, the only Halloween prop and effect trade show open to the public at HalloweenExtreme.com. And Legendary Haunt Tour. Experience world-class, state-of-the-art haunted attractions from behind the scenes while networking with fellow haunters from across the country at LegendaryHauntTour.com.